Then, Professor Meersheimer, I'm happy to give the floor to you. Thank you very much, Cecilia. Uh, it's a great pleasure to be here, and I feel honored to be asked to be here this evening. Uh, let me start by saying that I agree completely with both what Cecilia said and uh, what Carl said about the fact we live in a very dangerous world today. I'd put a finer point on it and say that I think the world is likely to get more dangerous with the passage of time. And number two, I believe that the world that we are moving into is more dangerous than the Cold War was. And of course, the Cold War was dangerous, but there's bigger trouble ahead. Now, the question is, why do I say that? I say that because you have to think about what the world looked like when World War II ended and how it's evolved over time. And you have to think about how the structure of the world has changed because that tells you a great deal about the likelihood of conflict. When I was born in 1947, it was a bipolar world. There were two great powers in the system, the United States and the Soviet Union. When the Cold War ended in 1989, and certainly when the Soviet Union fell apart in December of 1991, we moved from a bipolar world to a unipolar world. Then around 2017, the structure of the system began to change, and we moved from unipolarity to multipolarity, a world where there are three great powers, the United States, China, and Russia. So if you think about it, in my lifetime, we went from bipolarity, to unipolarity, to multipolarity. Now, what this means is that in the multipolar world we're in now, we have what I would call two conflict dyads involving great powers. One is the US-China dyad, and the other is the US-Russia dyad. During the unipolar moment, you had no great power competition. Most of you young people in the audience were born in the unipolar moment. There was only one great power in the system in the unipolar moment, and you cannot have great power competition by definition when you have only one great power. In the bipolar world that I was born into, there were two great powers, and you had one conflict dyad, the United States and the Soviet Union. So what you see is today you have a major conflict dyad in Asia involving China and the United States, a major conflict dyad involving great powers here in Europe involving the United States and Russia. That's two conflict dyads versus one in the Cold War and none in the unipolar moment. Furthermore, War is more likely, security competition is more likely to turn into war in the US-China competition and in the US-Russia competition than it was during the Cold War. So what I'm saying to you is that we have more potential wars between great powers in the multipolar world we now live in, right? And furthermore, those wars are more likely. Now, why do I say that? I think what I have to do here is explain to you how I think about uh, the security competition between the United States and China in East Asia. Just tell you what I think is going on there. And then talk about what's going on here in Europe in terms of the U.S.-Russia competition. And of course, when I talk about the U.S.-China competition, what I'm going to do is focus mainly on Taiwan. And when I focus on the U.S.-Russia competition here in Europe, I'll focus mainly on Ukraine. And what I'm going to try and do is convince you that these are really dangerous situations. <clears throat> 